Paid family leave. The idea of getting paid when you can't work because of family or medical reasons. Colorado does not currently have it. The Democrats had planned to make this one of their key bills in this legislative session. But things have changed. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger found out that the lawmakers backing that bill are backing off. Instead, they're going to ask you to sign a petition in the middle of a pandemic. Having a baby, taking paternity leave, recovering from COVID-19, all reasons you could still get paid while not working if Colorado had a paid family and medical leave system. What the coronavirus has done is really shined a mirror on our society on how we aren't protecting the lowest income workers, we aren't protecting communities of color, we aren't protecting part-time workers, and I refuse to pass something that leaves people out. Four Democratic lawmakers hoping to pass a paid family and medical leave bill are done trying, at least at the state capitol. In this crisis, uh, our negotiating partners, the folks we were working with in the business community and others, have stopped negotiating with us. Instead, these four lawmakers are turning their attention to you. More importantly, your signature. We've never been in this situation before. I've never looked like this trying to collect petition signatures before. Lene Hansen is with Colorado Families First, which has written three different ballot questions regarding paid family leave. Before any of the three show up on your November ballot, the Colorado Supreme Court is being asked to review if they follow Colorado law. Each of the three offer some sort of paid leave, ranging from 12 to 16 weeks to start. Each proposal has a different cost. Employers and employees would be required to split a fee, around 1% or less of what that employee earns. And in one of the three proposals, businesses with fewer than 10 employees would not have to pay the premium, but the employee would. If the Colorado Supreme Court gives the OK on any of the three issues, it will require collecting more than 124,000 valid signatures, during a time of social distancing. All of our petition gatherers will be wearing masks at all times. They will be putting one petition on the table with gloves and an individually sealed pin. There are still people out and there are safe ways to have a conversation with them. So how do you get the attention of more than 100,000 people to sign a petition? One is through text messaging. If you have phone numbers of people that you've met in the past, perhaps they might put up a big sign that says, come sign our petition, Kyle. But this, as we talked about before, is a very expensive endeavor, hundreds of thousands of dollars, perhaps millions of dollars, to collect signatures when there is no pandemic. So who knows what this is going to look like? Single-serve petitions. Wild. All right. Thank you, Marshall.